This time we're going to look into an element of the Raven panel. So nothing, not much to tell about this element or notifications, you can delete them as well. The thing that's interesting is the general and the panel. So let's tackle the general first. You can choose to have a dark team or a built-in team. So the built-in team is off now, meaning you're seeing the arc darker. So if we're gonna take arc dark again, then the built-in team is back on again. Let's say the theme arc dark is on, and if we put the built-in team, then you get this rather slightly different, well, no, not slightly, black and bluish, grayish, which is quite different. So the built-in team is also applicable to this one. It's a very, very, very good tip. So the built-in theme is blue here. And let's go back and go here. So we put it off, on and off, and then you have the blue as well. But the thing is, what I discovered, is when you install an other arc element, like the arc dark red, or an arc dark uh, crimson, or the arc dark frolly, all kinds of red, then you can only see the red elements in the menu when you put it off, when you say here, built-in theme is gone. So that's the only way how or when you can only also show the colors here in the menu. So that's a great tip. What else? Um, we can click this and, and open and, and drop down that, that opens. We have already the be most beautiful icon theme, uh, cursor theme available, great. Widgets, so this is what we have. Maybe a quick, uh, let's quickly go over it. What do we have? Can I see a file like that? So we have this, we have that, we have Advaita. So Advaita, arc looks like this, arc dark is like this, arc darker will be that, default, okay. Emacs, high contrast, okay, really, and there we are. So basically, if let's if you're honest, then the arc dark is great, arc darker is great, and the arc is great. That's it. So just stick to, to one of these three, and arc dark is my preference. So I'm gonna keep this one. In regards to the icons, let's have a look. This is the Advaita icon theme. Old school, let's say. So it's rather more a fallback theme than anything else. The arc theme is known to us. Horse 3180 on GitHub. And he has made the elements of Mocha more or less are linked so it's a question of inherit and that's what we're looking at Faba is the Faba Mocha it's this kind of icon theme and Faba Mono slightly different and the Mono Dark slightly different depending on what, uh, what distro you are you will see the, the difference is a little bit more pronounced but as you can see you won't see much in the folders High color, a fallback icon theme, high contrast, if you don't need it, you don't use it, and then a mocha theme. So it's it's um, actually an arc faba mocha theme that we're looking at. So the arc theme is the standard one, which just looks great and awesome, professional. So no need to change that. We've done, uh, we've chosen arc dark and arc Please know the background, we can have desktop icons if you want to. There they are. If you do right mouse click, you can put a folder here. If you don't put this on, you won't be able to do anything. So it depends whether you like to work on your desktop, if you want to have, uh, have this there. Fonts. You can change the fonts, you can change clear sans bold, and there's a lot of elements that have a look. Akash, 
some dust clear déjà vu dry is a nice one to do uh -huh. we will be installing in a later moment in later movies mono space is also interesting the noto font which is a nice beautiful font so lots of fonts can be added to the system and that's what we'll do later on so that's the customization part let's leave it like it is and then we are at the panels so this is the top panel I can put my top panel at the bottom which I've done in one of the movies or green screens already so it's a choice whether you want it here or whether you want it there the size of it is 39 remember the size and then you go up and you say okay now too much so let's take 40 shadow or not watch the little elements here on the, on the bottom it's you see it better when depending on the wallpaper you have stylized regions at this point no elements show and then you have here this budget menu this completely by the way we're in the the raven sidebar control so you can change all these elements here so let's start with the raven sidebar control so that's this one the clock that's that one we have a separator we can get rid of minus the spacer we can get rid of minus and that's how you proceed user indicator status indicator notifications maybe you would like to do that there system tray you can move it back down there or back up here so anything goes really uh, you have also a middle this is the start this is the end but there are more things to do you can add stuff uh, to the system via the plus you just check out what elements you're missing like um, I don't know like places is a new applet you can add and the places is looking like this the only thing you should do I think but that's up to you is decide where you should put it so it's now in the center so I can move it up and up and um, but it's fine there with a spacer in between so now I have this button here uh, an element here what can we do as well this element here is to shut down things when I want to shut down a system after so many distros I want to click here somewhere to shut it down so in order to be well a little bit consistent in what we, in, in uh, regards to exiting the system is move it around so I'm gonna change the um, status indicator is a test that one nope the user indicator that's the one yep it's moving around now it's in the middle user indicator is now there here it is you see so what we do is we just move it around and we put it there spacer maybe one up so now we have these two icons one to shut down and the other one to see where everything is download software and all the rest so as you can see it's quite flexible um, you change it the way you want it and um, the panel is also interesting to check out here the elements so if you click on something this thing here this icon becomes gray or white so meaning I can change some more in the budget menu like for instance let's go ahead with that Solus one two one two one Oops. there you go you can have a contact menu but we don't see anything if we put it on we see it like that like so compact modes and show headers and rollover mouse is something I love too um, let's go one by one so rollover mouse is this Otherwise you have to click all the time. Now I don't have to click. I just roll over. That's a great tip, I think. Again, up to you to decide what you like or not. So, back to the settings. We did this one. Show the headers. Okay, you saw the menu. Show the headers. It's gone. Elements or the names, the categories have gone. 
Okay, let's check again. Well, accessoires, sound and video, these things were just gone a moment ago. And actually, I do like it like that. I know what all the software is. No surprises in the software, so show headers, I don't care. And compact mode is maybe interesting as well. This is everything in one row. You like, <coughs> you like it, you hate it. Up to you to decide what you want. Don't like this particularly, so I'm going to put it back on. Like so. So that's about it, I think. Um, yep. Places you can show the labels, show the places, show removal folders, spacer, change the spacer, system tray, uh, no clock. Well, so nothing to be customized further down the road. This is our icon to go to the settings, which is okay. We can't change anything there really. And this is shutting down. I hope it doesn't influence the movie. Let's have a look. Voila, back on. So locking the terminal. And we'll have to decide, see later if this has influenced our little movie. But I guess everything has been explained. The budget panel is uh, the tweaking, the possibilities thereof are explained.